Not everyone has the space for a steering wheel. I wanted to prove that a decent controller allows for very smooth steering. I made and tested my steering sensitivity mod with my Xbox controller, right. but keyboard players use it as well. So what does this mod do? What if it doesn't seem to work? And what is different about keyboard steering? For this to work, you need to pay attention to mod compatibility. Configure your controller stick dead zone and fine tune the in-game sensitivity setting to what feels comfortable for you. This mod is fully compatible with other mods. I use a popular realistic physics mod, but I need to put this steering mod at higher priority. To be safe, you can simply put it at the top of the list. I made sure it touches only two absolutely necessary steering sensitivity settings, so it doesn't interfere with other aspects of the truck physics or any other mods. How can it improve your gameplay? Especially at high speeds, it can be a challenge to apply very subtle inputs to keep your lane. I would often overcorrect. In the vanilla game, I would set such a low steering sensitivity. Even on highways, I could comfortably apply a decent amount of pressure to the stick. But during parking maneuvers, it would then feel like ages to turn the wheel from one side to the other. Even more importantly, I would really have to take my time to go through roundabouts. At high speeds, the vanilla game already dials down the sensitivity a bit. I increase the effect to my liking. In the game options, I use a steering sensitivity setting around 0.45, a little less for European trucks, a bit more for longer wheelbases, as they aren't as responsive to the same amount of steering input. I recommend you focus on how your truck handles in roundabouts, since you have to quickly change direction when you exit one. It also helps to set up your cabin view in a way that you can see enough of the steering wheel. Then you get visual feedback from the turning of the wheel, and not just from how your truck changes direction. Also make sure to set your stick dead zone to avoid unwanted inputs. A decent controller should have only a small dead zone. To begin, I set it to zero. I touch the stick very lightly and let go of it. I repeat that a few times. Most sticks won't return exactly to the center. I look for the highest deviation in the resting position. I then increase the dead zone setting just enough to counter that deviation. Watch how the yellow bar goes away. Now my truck will go straight when I don't touch the stick. If your controller stick is significantly more loose, then you need a higher dead zone setting, but maybe you won't be able to steer as smoothly. Let's now take a look at keyboard steering. It's different because a controller stick offers a range of more or less input, whereas a key can only be either pressed or released. I didn't test and optimize for keyboard steering, but a number of players report an improvement with this mod. You should definitely notice a much less sensitive steering wheel at high speeds. Give it a try and tell me what you think. In summary, first you need to check your dead zone setting, then start with a steering sensitivity setting around 0.45 in ETS, or a bit more in ATS, and then go for a test drive in an area with a few roundabouts. Observe how comfortable you can change direction when you exit a roundabout. Adjust the sensitivity settings in small steps until you feel comfortable. If you made it this far, let's dive just a little deeper now with some technical details if you're interested. The in-game sensitivity setting defines the overall turning speed of the steering wheel. It will be the fastest when your truck is stopped. The game files that I edit in this mod, on the other hand, define the reduced relative sensitivity at high speed. Imagine this like two points in a diagram. Draw a line between the two. Since the curve or line would hit zero and even go negative at some point, SCS implemented a value for a minimum sensitivity at all speeds. In the case of this mod, the curve or line levels off roughly at typical highway speed. For you, this means changes to the in-game setting will be felt most at slow speeds. You will still notice a change at high speeds, but reduced by the factor defined by the game or this mod. This is why I recommend you dial in your sensitivity setting to what feels comfortable at slow speeds, like in tight corners and roundabouts. I hope this helps you achieve a nimble and comfortable steering and immerse yourself even more in this relaxing game. Drive safely.